Hey guys, this is Angie at Chicken Scratch. These are the three projects that we're making for my sweet little stockings class. Uh, this is a mini paper pumpkin box. This is the three by nine gusseted bag. And this is the little uh, acetate box. I hope you enjoy the video. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out. Thanks a lot. Okay, so this is the first project we're gonna be making and it's our mini paper pumpkin box. So it opens up like this. You have two choices. You can decorate the shiny side or the flat side. I actually prefer to use the flat side. I'm not sure why, but you do have choices. Okay, so I've got the box here and we're just going to assemble it, which is pretty easy. And then this is gonna go in like that, and these tabs are gonna go in. Okay, here's our box. So now we're gonna decorate that. The first step is you wanna cut your designer series paper, okay? This sheet here is, you're going to use this on multiple projects. So be careful uh, when, you're, when you're cutting this out. You want to use your scissors and cut out the stocking that you want so that that way you'll have all your stockings that you need for all three projects, okay? So we're gonna start with this one here. And our first cut is gonna be at five and a half. Let's see, that's the scoring, this is the cutting. And then we want to cut this to measure seven eighths. So seven eighths of an inch. This is our first piece, okay? The next one is going to be five and a half, no, five and three eighths by three and a half. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and cut um, three and a half. Yeah, let's cut three and a half this way. Yeah, I almost messed up. Three and a half. And then we're gonna cut it down to measure five and three eighths. Okay, that's all we're removing. <laughs> now you're gonna take the other side and you need, so we've cut this piece here and we've cut this piece. So now we have, have all we have left of these two side pieces and they measure um, seven eighths by three and a half. So the easiest thing to do is just cut seven eighths and then use this one as well because you want to use up as much as you can. Seven eighths. So this is your leftover pa paper and now we're going to cut these down to measure three and a half. And this one. Okay, our designer series paper is ready. So we can go ahead and add this to the top using liquid glue. And then make sure you know which side is the front. You could decorate the back as well, but we didn't cut enough for the back, okay? And now the sides. This is gonna go on top of the box right there. And we want to stamp all of our images. Now again, we're using, these stockings are from the paper. So let's go ahead and cut those out. So we're gonna be using 
this one here. And then this one over here. And now our next one is right here. Okay, now we have all three of our stockings. We can cut those out in a few minutes. We're using Memento ink, and we're gonna start by stamping the greeting. In your packet, you're gonna get a quarter sheet of cardstock, of basic white cardstock, and you'll be able to get all your images on this one sheet. I need to clean my blocks. <laughs> okay, that part's done. So now before we go any further, let's just go ahead and trim that off with our paper trimmer. and then we'll trim the left and the right. Um, you can use your scissors or you can use your trimmer. We'll set this aside and now let's stamp the rest of our images. I'm using my Stampin' Mat. Okay. So, Kitty cat. <laughs> and we need two candy canes. A present. Another present. And a little Santa hat. Okay, so now we're going to color and I will more than likely fast forward parts of this. Um, yeah, so that way you don't have to watch the whole thing or you can, but it'll be fast forward. Okay, so we are done coloring all of the images. I did not color the bottom of this one or the bottom of this one because we're gonna be cutting those off. So you can just eliminate cutting, uh, uh, coloring those. So now we're ready to die cut all of our pieces. So let's get the Stampin' Cut and Emboss machine. I would actually suggest that you use some washi tape or purple tape to hold your images down so that they don't slide. So we're gonna do a couple at a time. So that's this die here. And I am gonna fast forward this, okay? So that way um, you can still see it, but it'll, it'll move quickly.
Okay, so now we have all of our pieces and we can <laughs> finish making this project. So what we're gonna do is cut half of this one off and what we're gonna take the stocking and we're gonna, let's get our silicone craft sheet. Okay, so what we're gonna do is put a little bit of adhesive at the top here, just a little bit and then we're going to add the candy cane. And then the present at an angle. Whoops. Okay. There's that one. We're gonna add some liquid glue <laughs> on the kitty cat's head here and add the stocking, or not the stocking, but I guess the Santa's hat. You wanna angle it so that one of its ears is shown and the other one is kinda covered up. <laughs> And then, let's see, this one here, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna add the candy cane and then the present. So add a little bit of liquid glue. You wanna make sure that um, Sorry, I'm like all over the place, but thank goodness the the uh, liquid glue does dry clear. And you can use your adhesive remover um, if it if it doesn't completely come off. Um, yeah, once it's dry, don't use the adhesive remover. Um, until the liquid glue is dry. Okay, so this is gonna get added there, so same thing. And then for this one, we're gonna add the, <laughs> the um, holly, And I'm actually gonna put the glue right there. And just slide that on, okay? Now all we have left to do is to add the kitty cat on here. And I like to wait until I get the, the focal point on the box and then do it. So we're gonna start with that middle stocking. In fact, let's go ahead and attach this to the top of the box. Make sure I'm adding it the right place. Now, this is gonna get added in the middle. Wait, this piece is crooked. <laughs> That's why we use liquid glue, right? Okay, so one dimensional down there, one up here. And by placing this on here first, um, it makes it a little bit easier to center things, I think. So that looks in the middle to me, right? And I'm hanging the stocking over the edge 
ever so slightly. And then we'll add this one here, bring it up a tad. So we're gonna put two dimensionals on it, one at the bottom and then one behind the present. That looks good. And same thing for this one. I'm just gonna put a dimensional right in the middle. And then this is gonna go right there. So now we can add her right there with a dimensional. <laughs> so cute, right? And our final step is some ribbon and the embellishments. Oh, I forgot the greeting. Let's not forget that. So that's gonna go there. And I'm just gonna put liquid glue right in the middle and a little on each corner. You could use a glue dot. You could also pop this up if you want, but since the other images are, I figure the greeting doesn't have to be. Now our matte decorative dots. And you'll notice we used real red on this project and we also used cherry cobbler. So you can mix and match these. I think because the paper, um, the way it is, it works with either color. And now for the ribbon. So I'm just gonna tie a bow. And we're going to add the bow with a mini glue dot, but let's see how it fits first before we add it. And I can tell that I wanna make it just a little bit smaller. So I'm just gonna trim the ends again. See how it fits, that looks perfect. And then now add my glue dot. Okay, that wraps up our first project. Isn't it so cute? Okay, now we're ready to make our second project. Isn't it cute? That's the back of it. Okay, so this is the paper that we're using for this project. And you are actually gonna use this same paper on project number three. So when you cut it, uh, the leftover part will be for your third project, okay? So that's what we're gonna do first, is go ahead and cut this to measure two and a half by eight and three quarters. So two and a half. Save that for your third project. And we need to open up the arm and cut this to measure eight and three quarters. This is leftovers. Now we need this stocking. So remember the sheet of stockings that we had from the first project. Uh, this is the one that we're gonna be using now. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut that out so that we can then uh, cut it out with the dies. That's pretty good. So there's that. So we're gonna be stamping on this sheet here, this basic white sheet. So we're gonna stamp the greeting and the candy cane and the puppy dog and the hat. I'm using Memento ink. I do actually prefer using the Stampin' Matte when I'm using photopolymer. Now we're gonna color those. We're using cinnamon cider and real red, but you could use crumb cake if you prefer.
Okay, so now we're going to cut all of these images out. So we have the candy cane and the puppy. <laughs> it's a little confusing, right? Um, and then I think that's that one. And then the hat. Oh, and then the greeting. Okay, so let's get all of our images back in here. And now let's add the Whisper White to the pool party. And I'm just using some liquid glue. Okay, now we're going to add, well, let's get our silicone craft sheet because that makes this a lot easier. Place this here and we're going to add the hat to the top of his head like that and then we're going to add the candy cane under its paw like that okay so I'm just going to put a little glue. <laughs> There's that. And then slide this over so I don't get glue. And then I'm going to attach it right there. So again, I'm just going to put a little bit of glue at the top of the stocking. It doesn't take very much. And then we're also gonna be adding this with dimensionals, so. Okay, there's that part. Now, before we go any further, we also want to add our greeting. <laughs> and so this is gonna be like that. So put your glue on this part. looks pretty good right and then we're just going to give that a second to dry oops I slid it there we go so this is our small acetate card boxes this will hold our three by three cards and envelopes they make uh, great gift enclosure cards also or this box will hold, I should say, a set of gift enclosure cards. You can also put candy in here, all sorts of things. I like this size. Okay, so I've, I've assembled the box and we're gonna put dimensionals on the back of this, but let's just slide that aside for just a minute. And let's go ahead and add our belly band around our box. So we're just gonna start in the middle and just fold and if you want um, you could score it but I actually just like folding it it gets a it gives it a better fit so I'm folding it again One more and this is going to overlap a bit but that's okay because our scallop circle is going to cover it up so it's not that big of a deal see 
So there's that. So we're just gonna add a little bit of liquid glue. And you don't wanna do too much on this part because you don't want it to get on your acetate box. And you wanna be able to slide this belly band off to open the box, okay? Let me hold that for a second, let it dry. Slides on and off perfectly. Now we're gonna add the ribbon. So I'm just wrapping it around and then I'm just gonna make a pretty bow with the top. Okay, so I want to trim the ends just a, a little bit. And now that part's done. Now we need to add this with dimensionals. So I'm going to put one here and then one up here. That way the top and the bottom are secure. And it's going to go just like that. But let's add this first. So we're going to add it to the belly band so that when you remove the belly band everything slides off so let me take the backing off and then we're going to place our circles and then they're going to get added or it's going to get added there's no they on there it's just one animal and then we want to add our embellishment And you can use the other colors if you want. You don't have to use just the cherry cobbler. Um, this color down here, I think it goes well with, with the pool party. It's not pool party, but it kind of looks like a dark pool party. I'm gonna keep them the same just because I don't wanna confuse anyone, but. Okay, there's our second project. I hope you like it. Okay, so this is our third project. Isn't it so cute? I just love it. Remember the second project used half of this, so we're gonna be using the rest of it for this project, but we do have to trim it. And then we're gonna be fussy cutting one of these little dogs out. So cute, right? This time we're using the three by nine gusseted bags. So we'll go ahead and cut our little puppy dog out. I guess you would say he's not a puppy. He's actually a full grown dog. And I'm gonna cut him out kind of, um, I'm gonna fussy cut it once I cut him out of here. <laughs> okay, this is the, your leftover. Now don't get too caught up on trying to make this perfect. Seriously, if you look real close, mine is not. I never fussy cut perfectly. Some people do, I don't, but that's okay. No one's ever contacted me and said, you know, your card was really awful. You didn't cut it right. <laughs> now that may happen. I shouldn't have said that, right?
Not too bad, right? So we're gonna stamp that image. And we're using Memento ink. Okay. And I'm gonna flag the end of it with my Taylor Tag Punch. You can do this with your scissors or um, I think we used to have a banner triple punch you could do it with. Okay, let's assemble these. Now we're gonna cut this paper down. Let me get the trimmer. It's gonna measure two and three quarters by nine. So it should already measure, let's see, nope. So we gotta cut it down a little bit more. So two and three quarters. We almost used this whole half a sheet. And then by nine. Oops, wrong blade. Now we're gonna use our Simply Scored Scoring Tool. We're gonna score at one inch, three inch, and seven and three quarters. While we have the Simply Scored Scoring Tool, we're gonna go ahead and score our pool party card stock at one inch on all four sides. And all these measurements will be on your class instruction PDF. Okay, so I'm gonna cut up to the score line and then trim the tabs. Fold on the score lines. While we have our bone folder, let's go ahead and do the same thing with the designer series paper. Okay. Now let's assemble our little box. I like to call it a little tray. I'm gonna give you guys a little tip. Use your uh, mat, and that really helps with your stamp and seal. So if you are having any trouble using it, use your silicone craft sheet. Okay, there's our little tray, or box, whatever you wanna call it. So now what we're gonna do is attach the box to this paper. So I'm gonna start on the bottom and I'm using my liquid glue so that I can slide it into place. Okay, I think that's pretty good, right? Hold it down for a second. Okay, looks good. Now I'm just gonna put the adhesive here. Okay, that's how it looks. And now glue one more time on this part right here, okay? And we'll hold that for a second. Okay, we have one thing we need to do before we proceed. We need to trim our bag down to measure six inches. I almost forgot that. So let me get my trimmer. And I'm gonna place it here 
and cut at six inches. Okay. And then now we're gonna take this and add it inside here. And you wanna add your treat or your candy or whatever you're gonna put in here. At this point, this is where you'd wanna add it. So we're gonna slide it down like that. Now I will tell you, you might have to trim the bag a little more or you might not. It depends on how straight you cut it. Let me fold this back for a second. Okay, so see how the bottom is like that? So now we're just gonna kind of fold that in a little bit and fold this over. And see how the back is? Hopefully you can see that. Now, it looks a little cattywampus because I don't have anything in there. Once you add some crinkle paper or whatever your treat is gonna be, as you can see, it's gonna look a whole lot better. And when it's empty, then these are gonna exceed past. But once you get something in there, it does not. So we're gonna add the clip. Yeah, I probably should have put something in there, but it's okay. And we're gonna add this under here just with the clip. So I actually don't attach it because that way when they take this off, everything isn't destroyed, okay? So then we're gonna add him here and we're adding it over onto the left side so that it doesn't interfere with the ribbon. So I'm gonna get two dimensionals. Wait, I gotta see where they're going. <laughs> You want to make sure that you don't put the dimensional in the middle because that's where you're going to be sliding the greeting, okay? So there's that. And then this is going to go in there and we're going to have to trim it just a little bit more. I could have cut this a little bit more. want to cut off the is so let's just add a little bit of liquid glue <laughs> if I'd left it longer then I could have made it straighter but because I trimmed it so much then I have to angle it or otherwise the end of the paper is going to get seen right there. So don't trim your paper as much as I did, okay? So we've got embellishments to add and then we've got some ribbon to add. Okay, so now we're just tying the bow. And we're gonna add this just with a mini glue dot. So remember how I told you how we were adding him, or adding the, the dog, that we don't want to cover him up with the ribbon, so. There's my glue dot. <laughs> and let's add our embellishments. This time I am using that, um, this color, whatever color that is. I can't remember right this moment. Okay, so what do you think? Pretty cute, right? And don't forget that it does stand once you add something to it. It doesn't really stand when it's empty, but really cute. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the project.
Okay, so that wraps up all of our projects. There is a PDF available for a small fee over on my website. Uh, the link will also be in the description if you're on YouTube. Um, yeah, and if you need anything, let me know. Thanks so much.